searching for? Um, Dairy Mill. Dairy Mill. Welcome to day two, Nick. St George's, Prince's, the lodges are over there. How was your night's stay? Lovely. Enjoyed it? Yeah. You, snore, you snore quite heavily though. I, I tell you what, the one person that was <laughs> snoring was not me. <laughs> so we're day two. If you can't tell through here, it's a little bit windier today. We're on the dunes course that we played yesterday afternoon. And then after that, we're going to be playing the Himalayas. So, the best, isn't it? well, the, the Himalayas is the newest. Yeah, it's like a redesign. So, um, the few people that I spoke to last night said it's the best. Like on ride up, it's the best out of the three. Okay. But, so yeah, we're just out. We'd, we was going to play sort of a Texas thing, um, but we was both a little not not stiff, but wave. Yeah, a bit wayward this morning. So we decided really to play our own ball and do a few challenges now, just to make sure we're warmed up and got our eye and ready for the Himalayas. Uh, last night we had, what did we have? You had a venison sausage. 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 Well, a venison roll. Yeah. Sausage roll for venison. So Nick had that for a start. We both had uh, the fish and chips and I had a chocolate delice thing. Um, it was very nice food actually and they had the presentation evening up here last night as well. We wasn't invited. Um, yeah, so we, yeah, we just had a couple of drinks and some food and watched football in the bar, which was quite nice. And then we went to bed probably just after mass of the day. And then woke up this morning to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. And then woke up today with uh, nice weather and a bit of wind, which is more what you would expect from uh, a Lynx course. Yesterday was a little calmer than you would expect. Well, so, just there. Exactly. Just so, like that corral, yeah. so yeah, I'm just going. We're just going. I'm going to do a, a whole day video rather than two nines because uh, we've done this course yesterday. So hopefully we'll get some birdies and we'll show you a bit of the course. Is this the one where I need to lay up? Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, this is the one where you need to lay up close to them bunkers. So we are second hole him at Laz. We just played the, the first hole, which was is exactly the same as before the redesign as far as I'm aware. And so how did you find it, Nick? Decent. Decent, made par. This is the first hole change. So the, there used to be a par four. I believe the tee used to be over there. And you had to go round the corner to a, to a green. And it was probably 400-ish. They've now made it a 577 par five off the white tee, 622 off the back was it? Yeah. Um, and it is playing straight into the breeze today. And we can't see the green. Can't see the green. I imagine the third hole used to be a par three, so I assume they kept that green and moved the tee up and then just made it the par five that it is now. But that's a guess. So this is going to be a pretty tough one. Even just judging by scenery, oh, obviously right. the bit of reeds and a few trees I think this is going to be a bit different yeah. to the to the other it ones looks more, it looks more linksy doesn't it than the other than the other course because the rough's more built up yeah so it looks it the moment you put go left right duff it whatever you're in trouble yeah whereas there you can kind of get away with it it's more like over there wasn't it yeah that short a bit of rough yeah. I mean that's that's the ninth hole on this course right we have been told somewhere we had the bomb disposal unit here yesterday uh, which obviously worried us a little bit and it's a common theme around here that yeah. there's bombs found on the beach What's or on the course the from World War II yeah. and things like that. or on the course yeah. and somewhere but we don't know where there's some washed up propellers that we could from a World War II plane which we'll try and find if we can but I'm not exactly sure exactly where they are at the moment right. To the right of the second tee, but I can't see that. Yeah. But, like but anyway, so you just have to have a wonder, won't it? Exactly. Got Five seven seven back into the wind. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, my two ball just banged me at that tree. Well, I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, 
So we found it, but it's on the back of the second green. This is obviously stuff that they found when they was doing the renovation. So it's obviously a World War II propeller. And there's a few bomb casings, I assume they are. I mean, I'm not exactly. There's one here, Laddie Lucas, Filer Pilot, Walker Cup Captain. Walker Cup Captain, the son of the founder of Princes, Princes was forced into landing here. Wow. Well, well, what was he doing? Just wanted to around? <laughs> Well, he's obviously shot down, wasn't he, or yeah, something it's... similar like that. It's quite a cool little thing, something cool to find. I mean, obviously, with respect. We have another plaque. You do. What's this one? Bloody Point. Bloody Point is so named as it is believed to be the site of a vicious and bloody naval battle in AD 851, which is now which now sits within Prince's Golf Links. In other words, be careful. In other words, nasty. Love for your life. Exactly. It's cool they're finding all these different things because the golf yeah. course never went this far. Oh, this is an added extra as such. It's nice. Yeah, that's us up here, par three, little little dinky one, okay. which is never dinky in in the wind today. Okay, so just leaving. Huh. <laughs> Caught you by surprise. <laughs> so we're just leaving. Um, obviously, we played the Shores and the Dunes yesterday, and then Dunes and the Himalayas. No, Shores, Dunes yesterday, Himalayas, Dunes and Himalayas today. That's where my teacher ended up. Oh, that here, yeah. <laughs> um, I thought it was great value for money oh, in okay. terms of uh, in terms of two rounds of golf. I think they said in their height of summer it's like 115 quid. So even now, yeah, for a Saturday, for a Saturday, I imagine they're still charging what 50 or 60. Yeah. Um, so for two rounds of golf, night stay, dinner was really nice. Breakfast was really good. Um, we had we had lunch when we got here or breakfast when we got here yesterday. Uh, it was about 20 odd quid, and then a lunch yesterday that was about 20 odd quid. So in the clubhouse, it's quite pricey. Um, in terms of the the lodge, I think 
from what we gather, the, the prices are reasonable uh, in the bar, <laughs> but we don't quite know. Um, that, that must have been wrong. It must have been. I mean, we, I mean, we put it on the room. Um, they charge us ten pounds sixty-five for a couple of beers for and six, a few for six drinks for a couple of cokes, but we can only pay what they yeah. what they ask us to. So, um, but yeah, I thought value for money was good. The course is in really good condition, and is there anything else you can really add on it? Um, like the guy in that in the pro shop was always quite nice, wasn't they? They were quite chatty, quite yeah. quite nice to be around. Even when they had their presentation yesterday, he came up to us and said, "Did you enjoy it?" and blah blah blah. Didn't yeah. He? So yeah, there was yeah. I think just all all surround everything everything about the round was about the round and the hospitality was good. Yeah. You know, so and for the money, like I say, I know we keep saying it, but it's yeah, it's ideal. You know. It's well, I think we've already said that we're not that we're making this an annual thing, but we're definitely looking to doing it again this sort, sort yeah. of time next year, or yeah. um, make this like an annual thing because Nick's birthday's in January, mine's in February, so it's like a nice little like I'll buy it for him for his birthday, he buys it for me for my birthday kind of thing. Um, what was your favourite nine holes out of the three? It was pretty much my worst, but I'll probably say the. Um, it's not the Junes, it's not Himalayas, what's it called? Shores. Shores. So the Shores yeah. was your favourite, yeah. is it? Yeah, it was just, it was tough. Yeah. You know, it was. Uh, I think it was the first night as well, so you're sort of looking going, oh, well, this is what this is, you know? Yeah. Well, when you say it wasn't your, when you say it wasn't your best, I mean we had just got out of the yeah, car after yeah, an hour yeah. and a half and then yeah. got onto the tee, so um, took you a few hours. But once you got into it, a bit yeah. like a bit like this morning, to be honest, yeah. once you got one away and got one in the air, yeah. then you was fine after that. Um, yeah, I'd I'd say, I mean I've played the shores and that so much. I've, I do like the new redesign of the Himalayas because yeah. it's just a little bit different, but it was brutal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, me and Nick, me and Nick played off the white tees um, this both days, um, and possibly today with the wind, we maybe should have gone up to the yellows to make it a bit more enjoyable. Yeah. But I think I, even when it's like that, I'd rather still play off the whites because I feel like if I made a path, I felt like I made it, yeah. rather than moving forwards. Oh, yeah. And I don't get much enjoyment from moving forwards and making it easier. I'd rather. I'd rather suffer a little bit and try and make because if you make a birdie, it feels a lot better than it normally would. Yeah, yeah, without question. Like I say, there are a couple of them, like the, you know, the, the long, the two par fives, wouldn't it? It was the, yeah. it was the difference in the six hundred and twenty yard one. Yeah, it was like driver three wood and eight iron. You it? Yeah, so yeah, it was five seven seven driver three wood eight iron, and I didn't hit one bad shot up that hole. No. And then obviously we turned around on like the sixth. Which was 560, and I hit driver at a four iron, I think it was. And then. Sunk the part. Sunk the part. I wasn't going to say that, I didn't want to blow my own smoke. But if you. So if Shaws was your favourites, what other nine would you use in order to make your 18? I would say Himalayas. So you'd you'd yeah. play Shaws and Himalayas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because oh. the other one, like I said, I just found it a little bit. You go three holes that way, three yeah. holes that way, one hole that way, and then back in. Yeah, that's. You know, it's just a bit. Like around itself yeah. and such. I mean, I do like the dunes because it's quite, it's a little bit tough, and I think because I know it as well. But I'll I play, I'll have Himalayas, and then I would have Shores or Dunes. Well, that's what you've got to do. Yeah, yeah I know, but I, I, I don't know <laughs> if I can really make my mind up and say that's definitely, it's yeah. definitely that one. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I, I think that's a bit of a round up. Like I say, we enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, if, if anyone just else. Like St. George, isn't that there as well? It's just it's nice, isn't it, with yeah. the, the open coming this year and that. Yeah. So, yeah, recommend it for anyone that, anyone that wants to do it. In, in obviously, in the summer and that, it's more expensive, but if you ever get the chance to uh, to get down here for a weekend, it's well worth the money yeah. and I think you'll really enjoy it. So. Right here, isn't it? Right here. Right, there's no entry there, so that'll be. <laughs> Alright guys, well thanks for watching the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed it um, and we'll see you again in the next one.